Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the Sephora VIB sale that is coming up or has already started. I'm going to be telling you guys some things that I want from the sale and I'm also going to be giving you some recommendations on things you should get from the sale. So if you're interested in seeing what I want and what I think you should get, make sure you keep on watching. I got my phone right here so I can actually look at the um, Sephora website while we are chatting. So if you do not know, it is the Beauty Insider Spring Sale. They do this sale about twice a year, once in the spring and once in winter. And it's three tiers to the sale. So you have the Rouge, which starts a little bit earlier and lasts a little bit later and you get 20% off. You have VIB, which that's what I am. You get 15% off and it starts on April 21st and last through the 29th so about nine days and then you have insider which anybody who has never even been to Sephora never did anything with Sephora can be an insider because and that is 10% off and that one starts April 23rd through April 27th so that's a little information on the sale if you guys were wondering and I already have some stuff in my cart so we will go over the things that I want from the sale first right now I have three things in my cart that I've added the first thing being the fresh toner it is the rose and hyaluronic acid deep hydration toner so I brought the small version of the fresh toner and y'all I love that toner i have tried so many different toners and toner toners sometimes dries my skin out so when i tried this one out and i noticed it didn't dry my skin out it smelled so good like roses i just fell in love and i just really loved it it cleared my skin up like i really 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 like that toner and that's going to be a recommendation so let me just go ahead and recommend it y'all that toner is so good the big bottle is $45 and it's 8.4 fluid ounces and then the small bottle is 100 milliliters 3.3 fluid ounces the next thing I have in my cart is some Fenty Beauty um, lip, blom lip balms. It is the two pack duo, double take duo, excuse me. Gloss Balm Universal, let me tell you the colors. Sweet Mouth and Fenty Glow. Fenty Glow is like the original, you know, lip gloss and then Sweet Mouth is just a really, really pretty like pink color. So they have this for $29. I'm thinking about getting that. Never tried it before, but I got the Fenty Glow, but I don't have the Sweet Mouth, but I'm obsessed with lip gloss. So I might get that. And the last thing I have in my car is something that has been hyped up so much. You know, like how you hear like YouTubers talking about stuff and even though I'm a YouTuber, I'm still influenced. Every time I hear somebody talking about something, they talking so good about it, I be like, you know what? I just gotta try it. Laneige Sleeping Mask. You guys, it is .07 ounces and it's freaking $20 for a freaking lip balm. So, I definitely will be purchasing that. I'm thinking about trying the Pat McGrath um, concealers. Let me see how much they are. Perfection Concealer by Pat McGrath. It is $32. Kind of pricey now. Kind of pricey. But this is the best time to get it while you get your little discount. So, she has a really, really big shade range unfortunately you know we're all quarantining right now so we can't go out to the store and actually swatch <coughs> stuff and try it out i'm just going to have to use my better judgment when picking the color for me all right so another thing that i'm really interested in trying is the huda beauty life liner double in it eyeliner liquid and pencil so it has two sides let me see if i can show y'all looks like that that is so cool so it have a liquid eyeliner part let me plug my phone back up it has a liquid eyeliner part and it also has the part for the bottom of the eye that you can kind of smudge 
I really, really like that concept. And it's $25. I don't think that's bad. And a lot of people say this eyeliner is really good. It's really black. So I'm definitely interested in trying that out. And another product that I really want to try out is this Frasali Rose Gold 24 Hour Skin Mist. It is $39 and it's 1.7 fluid ounces and a lot of people rave about this too. Say when you, you spray it on, it just gives your skin this really nice sheen even if you're not wearing makeup. I really wanted to purchase like a perfume or something because during the sale it's the best time to rack up on your perfumes but honestly it's nothing that I want to try out right now. If you guys have any perfume recommendations you think I should try, let me know. So now we're going to get into what I'm going to recommend to you guys. So starting off, the first thing I think you guys should get is the Clinique Take the Day Off. This stuff is so good. When I tell you it literally takes the day off, it takes the day off. So they have a little sample size that is one point one ounce just one ounce you can get that for nine dollars and fifty cents if you just want to try it or you can get the big one which is thirty dollars and it is three point eight ounces and y'all when i tell you this stuff takes the day off and if you get the big one it will last you forever because i started off with the small one at first just to you know see if i liked it and the small one lasts me quite some time i haven't even put a dent in the big ones. Another product that I highly recommend is the Huda Beauty Setting Powder, the Loose Setting Powder. I love the Loose Setting Powder. I get the color um, Blondie in the Loose Setting Powder. It is $34 and it is one two three four five six seven eight it comes in eight different shades it's 34 dollars and it is 0.71 fluent ounces it is really good i highly recommend it to you guys it is a matte finish it just leaves your under eyes looking flawless so if you're in the market for looking for a new setting powder for under eyes definitely try out the huda beauty one so i have two primers that i recommend First one being the Frisali Skin Tune Blur. This was another product that I was kind of skeptical about because I brought it listening to some influencers and I'm not mad that I brought it. I, so I started off with the small one and let me tell you, the small one is really small and it was $22.34 fluent ounces. And then I end up getting a big one because I really like it when it is. It does exactly what it says, Skin Tune Blur. It's going to blur out all those imperfections and just give you a really nice canvas to put your foundation on too. The big one is one fluent ounce and it is $54. This is some expensive stuff. So that's why I'm telling you the best time to get it is during the sale. The next primer would have to be the Milk Hydro Grip. Once again, this is another product I bought listening to influencers. But... I really do love it. I started off with the small one. I think the small one was about $15. Yeah, 0.33 fluent ounces. And then I went up to the big one, which is $30. And it is 1.5, um, 1.52 fluid ounces. And I highly recommend this stuff. When I tell you it is kind of like a sticky consistency. It's kind of like a sticky consistency. And it just gives your foundation something to grasp to and it just makes you look so good i actually have it one now another product that i have been using for years that i recommend if you're looking for a setting spray honey urban decay has the setting spray on lock the all-nighter is so good you guys i promise you the all-nighter is so good it is $33 for a four ounce bottle, but the four ounce bottle lasts you a long time. All right, so the next recommendation I have is the Sol de Genario. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but you probably know it as the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Now, I'm not necessarily recommending the lotion. I have the lotion because I brought a set. Let me see if they have that set one here. The set is $25. Definitely get this set, y'all. Definitely go out and get that set because 
that way like me you can try out all three things and see what you like or what you don't like so definitely get the set so the next things i have to recommend are perfumes like i told y'all this is the best time to buy perfume because perfume is expensive especially for the kind that i like so i'm just gonna run through the list of some of my absolute favorites the first being gucci guilty now gucci guilty has a, a whole bunch of different gucci guilties but let me show you the one i'm talking about y'all this stuff smells so good this perfume smells so good you guys this is a perfume you can wear every day you can wear it to the club you can wear it to work you can wear it to church it's definitely multi-purpose another one that i love but i kind of feel like it's i don't know it smells really good but the bottle is so small that i just don't know if it's worth my money and i don't know if i would actually repurchase it but it's the ysl mon paris bottle that i got was 97 dollars it was 97 dollars and it is 1.6 fluid ounces um i'm the type of person that really is a sucker for packaging and this packaging honestly just doesn't grab my attention which ultimately doesn't make it worth my money even though it smells phenomenal i know it's weird y'all but i don't know so another perfume that I definitely would recommend would be Chanel Mademoiselle. That is a classic. That perfume is very expensive. It's not real expensive, but it's expensive, you know. She's she's a cute little $120, you know. And then another one that's kind of expensive too, but is worth the money is Carolina Herrero Good Girl. This perfume smells so, so, so good, y'all. I'm telling you, if you're in the market for a new perfume, check out this one. All right, so going back to makeup, two highlighters that I would suggest, they're by the same brand, just two different colors. They are by Bobbi Brown, and they are $48 each. Um, the colors that I have and that I love for my skin complexion is Bronze Gold, bronze glow and then afternoon glow this is what bronze glow look like really 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 pretty gold color and then afternoon glow is more of a champagne looking color but still really really pretty So, if you're looking for a new highlighter, those are the two that I suggest. The only foundation that I can recommend on Sephora's website is the Beauty Blender Foundation. Now, I know there's a lot of stuff going on with Beauty Blender, but let's leave the past in the past. This product is good. Beauty Blender Foundation is a really, really good foundation. It is $40, and they have... A lot of shades I don't know how many but they have a lot of shades so if you're looking for a full coverage matte foundation I believe this is a matte foundation yeah full coverage matte foundation definitely 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 give this one a try because it's good all right so my camera went dead y'all but i'm back i think the last thing i was talking about was the beauty blender foundation so yeah i definitely recommend now as i'm sitting here i had plenty of time to stroll on my phone and look at other stuff i'm looking at the beauty blender concealer now i've never tried it but i didn't even know they had it i'm thinking about getting this concealer i may get this one instead of the uh, pat mcgrath this one is 26 dollars, and it says it's like a natural finish people are leaving reviews saying that it's real full coverage crease proof all that so i'm gonna just add one to my basket and just go back and figure out the color a little bit later so I do have another primer suggestion. I suggest the Becker Ever Matte Primer. If you are a oily girl, I highly recommend that you try this primer out because it is super duper matte and it'll have your face literally sitting all day. The big bottle is $39. Oh, they're sold out of the um, mini version. So, but the mini version is $21. 
All right, you guys, so that's all I have on my recommendations list for you and my wish list for myself. So if it's any products you want to recommend to me, make sure you comment them down below. And please make sure you like, share, and comment. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and let me know things you plan on getting like if it's anything you're interested in, something you've seen on the website that you just feel like you need to have. Or how about this? Y'all comment down below something an uh, influencer like a YouTuber or Instagram or whoever. Something you feel like they have persuaded you to buy. Let me know what is the one product that you feel like you got to get from the sale because a YouTuber or influencer has influenced you. So that's it for the video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.